everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video today because I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a ton of bag chains that I got from Next Fashion and this is a sponsored collaboration with Next Fashion. So feel free to check out their Instagram. I am so excited to be working with this Canadian brand once again. And of course, I will link everything down in the description below because everything that I am talking about today comes in different clasps, sizes, widths of chains and different styles as well. So it kind of can get a little bit overwhelming, but of course I will link everything with the timestamp, the names, the sizes down below. And before I begin for size reference, I am five foot three. If you guys are interested in the lengths of chains that I have. So in particular to this video, I wanted to talk about the three different styles that I have been seeing lately and have been loving. So the first one is the big and chunky chains trend. And I'll put up some examples here. Basically, it's a very minimal bag or any bag that you want, but the chain is so chunky and it just kind of gives off a very like off-duty influencer kind of vibe. For sure, the chunky chain is such a statement. Branching off of that, I want to show you guys this chain right here and this looks so nice and thick. And this one is called the 24 inch jumbo curb light chain. So this is the thickest chain that I will be showing you guys today so far. So keep in mind, this is 16 millimeters and it definitely gives off that very chunky vibe. This one I have is an O-ring extension and I'm gonna be putting on some of my bags uh, most of them will be Louis Vuitton, but I do have some other brands as well to show you guys what these chains will look like. So this is my most favorite look. So this is the pochette accessoire in the monogram with this chunky chain. It definitely gives off that really nice vibe and it's just very bold. So this strap is 24 inches, so it's mainly for shoulder strap and shoulder wear. And this is what it looks like. So I personally really like this. It also does kind of have like a good scale ratio to this style of the bag and it fits very comfortably. The next one, I put this on my toiletry pouch and I do have an insert in here. I do have a video on that as well if you guys are interested. So I did attach this chain into that insert and look how nice this bag looks. This is definitely giving off that vibe that I always see on Instagram where people wear very minimal but bold outfits and it just looks so nice with this toiletry pouch another bag that i have is this ted baker bag in which i put this chain on and it completely transforms this bag this bag itself comes with two straps but it doesn't give off the same vibe if you know what i mean but with this chunky chain it suddenly just looks so much more minimal and definitely a lot more trendier um i don't know what to say because I'm actually very speechless at how well this is paired. I'm definitely going to be wearing this bag a lot more. Um, the regular straps for this one is definitely a cross body bag and the other shoulder strap is a lot more too playful I would say. It has like this kind of finishing to it. Um, I would just say that this gold suddenly just brings up and brightens this bag. I can definitely see myself wearing this a lot more during summertime than I thought. So for sure, it does just completely change it. It's, I think it completely changes it and I think it works best if you guys have like a very minimal bag. With the monogram, it's fine because it's all brown, but for something that's so simple, adding this chain is actually like the main focal point. And I think that's what really makes this whole look so simple and effortless. And of course, I have this on my mini pochette as well. So it is a lot more chunkier and I do think it's a little bit too large for the mini pochette. But since I do have this piece and if you guys are interested in this combination, this is what it looks like. So the next chain that I have is quite similar. It does also have this O-ring extension, except it is not as thick. So this one is 12 millimeters thick and a lot longer so you can wear crossbody. Again, I am five foot three and this is a 40 inch long chain. So for my height, again, five foot three, I can say that I will be able to wear anything from 40 inches to 44 inches in length. And I would say it kind of stops at the top of my hip at 40 inches and at 44 inches, it is right at my hip. I put this on my pochette accessoire and this is what it looks like. This is a really good thickness for this kind of bag and I would say that the O-ring is kind of what literally just changes this whole look. 
if it does have a lobster clasp then it doesn't look as different i think that the o-rings really do change the look especially if you do have other keychains or you do want to put a smaller chain over here that is definitely what's going to help rather than putting it on the d-rings i think there is a lot more like leeway if you do put it on the o-rings if you do plan on adding keychains or extra chains I also put this on my Ted Baker bag. I just had to. I was so in love with the first one with this O-ring and the gold chains. I honestly think I would still rather wear this gold chain actually than the white one that it comes with. I just think it just looks so much more classier, especially because this bag is so clean and white. The gold really just makes it so much more luxurious. And I think it really just transforms the bag completely. So the second style that I want to talk about is the Rolo. So Rolo is this kind of shape and you can tell that it's a lot different than the classic chain. So this interlocks very different. And if you guys did watch my first collaboration with Next Fashion, you guys will know that I mentioned the Rolo has like the most shiniest, I would say, because of the way that the chains are linked together. It does catch a lot more light. So if you guys do like that kind of sparkle and touch to your handbags, then I would highly suggest this one. So I do have a three Rolo chains to share with you. And this is the first one. So this is the 40 inch Rolo chain. So this is like the regular sized one and this one has the large lobster clasp and to give you guys a comparison this is the large lobster clasp and this is the small lobster clasp so on the pochette accessoire this is what it looks like it definitely is similar to like the classic look but you can definitely see that this chain is a lot shinier i'm going to be seeing that so much during this video for these rollo chains can really just see the complete difference and it really does make the bag look a little bit more fancier it's not as bold as the first chain but it does kind of catch an attention in a different kind of way so i want to do something different for this chain i put it on my burberry tote bag and i'm quite surprised with how this looks i think it kind of works because i do have existing gold hardware on this bag but I really do think this looks quite nice. This bag originally comes with a black strap, so it's nothing too special, I would say. But I do think that this gold really does change up this vibe. So the next chain I want to show you guys is also a Rolo chain, except this is called the mini dashing Rolo chain. And I'm going to show you a side by side difference to this one and the first one. So this is the first one that I showed you guys, large clasp and the Rolo chain. This is the one that I'm showing you now, which is also the large clasp, but mini dashing Rolo chain. So you can tell that this one is a lot thinner and smaller than the first one that I just showed you guys. So on my pochette accessoire, this is what it looks like. It's definitely a lot more daintier, I would say, and thinner than the other one. It also completely changes the look. So it's really up to you what kind of vibe and style you want to give off from your bags and the chains so this is the one that i want to share with you guys that i think that this strap looks a lot better on the favorite it is a lot more smaller something about this favorite bag i do find it to be very soft and elegant so i think the thinner mini rollo dashing chain is a lot more fitting so highly recommend this one for more of the elegant kind of vibes that you want to go for and of course, I can't stop staring at how nice this reflects the light. So the third chain in this Rolo collection that I'm showing you guys today is similar to the second one. So this is the mini dashing Rolo in the small class. So in comparison, this is the one that I will show you now. And this is the second one that I just showed you guys. So in terms of the chain here, it is the same, except now I'm using the smaller lobster class. And if you guys did watch my other videos, you will know that the small lobster clasp is my absolute favorite. And you will see more of that in the third style. So this is what it looks like on my pochette accessoire, except this time with the small clasp, it's not as kind of noticeable, I would say. It kind of blends in a lot more seamlessly with the small clasp. Of course, it depends on what kind of look you guys want. Next, I have my favorite with the chain on. And one thing I wanted to mention, which will be repeated in the mini pochette, is that because this bag comes with a non-removable chain, having the smaller clasp by Next Fashion actually 
matches very, very closely, if not perfect, to the original Louis Vuitton clasp. So it kind of is a little bit more seamless, I would say, rather than having the large clasp on the extra chain added. This is what the strap looks like on the mini pochette. It looks really nice. I think this one is the most suitable for the mini pochette just because of the scale and everything. Of course, I do have two more chains to show you guys after this one. And similar to what I said about the Louis Vuitton favorite bag, having the small lobster clasp by Next Fashion is a lot similar to the existing Louis Vuitton strap. Of course, with the large one, I find that it tends to stand out a lot more especially with Louis Vuitton bags. So if you guys want something that is seamless and as close as possible, definitely go for the small lobster clasp. So now that I've covered two of the styles, the third one is of course the classics. And this is the style that I think everyone has to have in their collection. And I have two chains to show you guys. So the first one is this 40 inch long gold light curb chain and this is 12 millimeters thick and both of these chains that i will be showing you will have the small clasp which is my favorite size this is what it looks like on the pochette accessoire honestly like i said this is the classic look and it's just very practical and useful one thing i do want to mention that is super important for these curb chains is that I highly recommend this and I count this as a classic because of the flat profile. I know this is a small bag, but when you do carry a bigger bag and just stuff a lot of things, your bag will get heavier and your chains will dig into your shoulders. So I think this curved chain, especially with this thickness, is probably your best bet to just be super comfortable. Like if you're gonna go shopping and just have a whole day wearing your bag, especially cross body or on one shoulder it really does take a toll so i really do think this is one of the biggest pros that the light curb chains really do offer this is what it looks like on the favorite pm so like i said this is just simply a classic look and honestly it just provides such a practical experience as well and it also does have a nice shine to it of course not as much as the rollo because of the way that chain is styled but of course, still there and still very nice and luxurious. So the last chain I have to share with you guys is probably one of my favorites based on its style and its weight. And this is the 40 inch chain that is called the Curb Gold Chain. And thickness wise, it is nine millimeters. So I'm going to do a close up on this. You guys, I'm so impressed with this. I'm actually shocked. Um, hopefully you guys will see what I see through the camera. This is what it looks like on the pochette accessoire and honestly, I think it does just give off a very classic look to it. It's not too like loud and bold like the first one and not too overly shiny like the second one and it's just very subtle. So if you do like a very classic and subtle look, it just looks so sleek, so smooth and has such a nice weight to it that it really does feel very luxurious. This is what it looks like on my mini pochette and I honestly think any chain style that you guys want as long as you guys get it in 9 millimeters and the small lobster clasp I think it looks perfect for SLGs it doesn't stand out too much and it's the perfect scale and it's very seamless So that wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video to be really fun and helpful. I honestly felt like there were really three styles that I've been constantly seeing all over Instagram and YouTube, which is the really chunky chain, the Rolo chain, which is just very sparkly, and the classic curb chain, which I would say I've been constantly using myself. Don't forget to check out Next Fashion and they also do ship to US. Definitely make sure you go up to the top right corner and change the currency first so that you guys are looking at the right prices and the right location. Of course, again, I will link everything down below and don't forget to use my coupon code if you guys want to save as well. And for those of you guys who are new, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys haven't already, it would mean so much to me if you guys would hit that subscribe button the notification bell and i'll see you guys in my next video